this event is about bringing people from different sectors to focus on a number of themes around health in fragile environments. I mean, more than 50% of preventable deaths occur in situations of conflict, post-conflict, displacement, natural disasters. We need to innovate and very specifically we need to team up across sectors. So we are using network uh, and this network are really connected with uh, startup around the world including and it's very important for us uh, all continent including Africa for example but also Asia and we are using this network to find solution concrete solutions to concrete your main problem. So this program is about um, two different things it's about how can we actually source innovations that are coming either from the field or from um, other innovation centers around the world. It would be to work with startups that are coming from the countries where the needs are identified. So the idea is to bring some African startups to come up with solutions, bring them to Geneva to expose them to how international humanitarian aid functions and, and to incubate their ideas so that they can be deployed uh, then on the ground. And what Swiss Sex and its networks wants to do is come from the other side, namely from, from the areas in the world where, where innovation happens, you know, Bangalore, Shanghai, Rio, Boston, San Francisco, and find there people that have the will to come up with a meaningful solution, bring the same folks to Geneva, merge them with those coming from Africa, and, and, and through that create deployable solutions. So increasing access by 100% in fragile context. Yes. <laughs> so through the through the RedX challenge, we're really scouting for uh, technologies and uh, startups with with uh, technologies and innovations that can be used uh, in humanitarian work to tackle challenges on uh, on health in fragile environments. And through the fellowship, the core idea is to support uh, local entrepreneurs that are working also in, uh, on the topic of health in fragile environments and to reduce preventable deaths. Having local entrepreneur um, being part of a global solution is something of value because they will contribute that our global solution are much smarter and much more contextualized and they can then bring it back to the local community. We are looking for entrepreneurs who really will follow us through the process, will kind of understand what the needs are, work with our field teams and then develop the kind of products that uh, that, that we can use in the field. We're looking for entrepreneurs and startups with great ideas, initiatives, uh, technologies that can have an impact on, uh, on health in fragile environments. My call would be um, to really come and join us and support us in our search for the best entrepreneurs to give us um, resources so that we can coach them, we can accompany them, um, give us contacts so that we can also put them in touch with other successful entrepreneurs or organizations around the world so that they can come back and really have the impacts that we all need to see happen in um, my country, which have, has been going through a very difficult time.